Hey folks, how's it going? Um, this is Garrett Gagnon here. Um, I'm making a glove video today just to show you what I have for sale, um, what I've got with me here. Um, and I realized I just haven't really made a glove video since I got here to college. At least I haven't made one in my uh, dorm room, so I'm here. Uh, it's the last day before Christmas break. That's why my room is a little in shambles, as you can see, if you can see anything behind me. Um, yeah, so everything's totally packed up here, uh, flying out tomorrow back to Vermont. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video right now. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit in this video about something that's gotten my attention in the glove world, um, since I've been here, um, out in Ohio. I haven't, I haven't really been wheeling and dealing with my gloves as much as I have in the past just because I've been so busy with everything but um, something I'm sure everyone anyone who is uh, considers themselves uh, a glove guy um, is up to date with all the new stuff Rawlings is coming out with they're, uh, they're going nuts with the with the new you know the label colors uh, the less recently but fairly recently their gold uh, welting they're like metallic gold welting binding um, which I'm okay with the, the welt the welting and binding I think that's cool like uh, you can't get a gold label really so the gold the gold bindings fine but but like the blue Rawlings label that just really kind of grinds my gears uh, it just you can call me you can call me old-fashioned but uh, that's just kind of how I view Rawlings, a Rawlings baseball glove, just sort of old-fashioned. I just really like a, a tan, a brown, a black like you see here on this Pro Preferred. Um, I just really think of a Rawlings baseball glove in my head as a classic glove, a nice classic, uh, typical, standard baseball glove like that you see in the old movies. Like, I'm sure most of you have seen For the Love of the Game. Uh, that that nice tan, beautiful, like well worn in glove that Kevin Cosner's pitching with for the Detroit Tigers. But that's just like the stereotypical Rawlings baseball glove that I think of in my head. Something that something that your dad's using a Rawlings, a nice beat up Rawlings that he's had for ten years. Um, and that's just that's just me, maybe. But that's why it just kind of bothers me a little to see Rawlings going in this more new age uh, direction with their with their custom options and everything. I mean they've always had custom options but now they're going they're going nuts like you're changing you're changing like the classic look of a Rawlings seeing that red background with a white R and that just bothers me a little. I I don't want to see someone pitching with a with a green background and a uh, a royal blue Rawlings label on there. That just bothers the hell out of me. And I'm sorry, but that's just the way I feel about that. Um, and really what it is, if you look into it, if you if you really look at it, they're just, they're trying to keep up with Wilson. Statistically, if you look at things, uh, Rawlings is still the number one uh, most preferred brand of baseball gloves in the major leagues and by many baseball players at totally different levels of play around the around the globe and around the United States of course more to say but Wilson uh, has been going nuts for the past five ten five plus years or so um, with their custom options they've they've just totally gone off the map and like are running circles around Rawlings in that aspect of things, like the custom options that you can get on the Wilson uh, Glove Builder, or even just just any of that stuff, the the the, the dual welting, um, uh, any color you want on the on the web, you can. Uh, well, a little off topic. I love with Rawlings how you can just build your own glove. Wilson, you have to pick someone's model. That's the one thing that I would say Rawlings has over Wilson. With the custom options but more to the point Wilson has just a lot more custom options especially color wise um, with the Rawlings uh, you really can't 
change the color of your Pro Preferred to like blue, which I like a lot. You have to stick with the classic options on a Pro Preferred, but who knows how long that's going to last, really. And that's what it is. It's Rawlings trying to keep up with the this this wave of younger ball players loving custom gloves. When when I was little, I I really loved uh, the look of of a red ball glove, of a blue ball glove, of just a, a flashy looking glove that catches the eye. Um, and I think a lot of players do. Young uh, young age, older age high school, in your 30s, whatever. I think a lot of people really like that, a colorful glove that stands out. Um, and I still do. I, I like it sometimes, but on a Rawlings, that, that's just kind of how I feel um, personally, that it should be a classic look. Uh, but, you know, the game's changing, um, and Rawlings, obviously, being one of the top brands out there, has to, has to compete with the market, and that's what they're doing, so... Um, I still have the option to buy my custom Rawlings glove, and as long as that is still out there, that um, that option of mine to have the preference to have my ball glove look whatever look like whatever I want it to look like, it'll be it'll be all right. Um, so yeah, just real quickly to wrap up this video, I uh, just want to show you what I do have for gloves. This is a Rawlings Pro Preferred um, 11 two five inch. IWeb with the mesh back. They haven't made this model for a while now. Um, but yeah, I'd be willing to sell any of these gloves that I'm going to show you here. Once again, Rawlings Pro Preferred IWeb 11 2 5 inch. This is my Alex Gordon Rawlings Heart of the Hide um, 1275 HWeb model. Um, yeah, this would this would also be for sale. Once again, Alex Gordon Heart of the Hide. Um, this is a custom custom rolling glove, rolling glove with, uh, from Game Time Gloves, Jesus Acuna, and if you're familiar with that, uh, you know, you know the quality of these gloves, they're very, uh, sturdy, stable gloves as far as Mexican gloves go, uh, I would say, hands down, they're the best Mexican brand out there, um, if you're curious about this poster back here, Sorry, that's not for sale. That's that's actually my roommate's. You'll have to discuss uh, that with him if you're interested in that. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's there. Um, so yeah, these are the gloves I've got to show you today. Um, if you are interested in anything shown in the video, please just send me a text. I know there's a lot of numbers that I'm listed in my past videos. Um, but I will give you my current number that will probably be my current number for a long time. That's just 802-565-0529. Um, yeah, if you're interested in any of the gloves or just want to talk a little baseball, feel free to feel free to shoot me a text. I don't care. Um, once again, 802-565-0529. Um, yeah, that's what I got for you today. Hey, thanks for watching, and happy holidays, folks.